Hey YouTube, it's Tegan and I will be subbing for your Trans by Deaf video. Today's topic is our unpassing moments. I had to think about it for a second. Um, our unpassing moments. And I, I have to say that from now to when I started transition, um, back in last year, beginning of last year, um, it's definitely gotten better. Um, but I still get those moments and I have to say that, uh, for me, passing is everything. It's a huge insecurity of mine. And if I think for one second that, um, I am not passing before leaving the house, I won't leave period. Um, and the idea of somebody thinking that I'm just a man in a wig drives me absolutely nuts. Um, I can't stand it. It's a scary thought to me. Um, these times where I have these issues have left me in tears. Um, they've left me to a point where I want to punch the person in the face. Um, and I won't lie to you, I've even wished death on people for pointing out that I am um, not passing. And I know that sounds semi-psychotic, um, but it is, it's an insecurity of mine. And I, I really, for the record, don't wish death on anybody um, for real. <laughs> um, I just really hate that feeling. And I think it's extremely rude when somebody um, points out your differences or points out how you are not normal. Um, if it's in an unconstructive way, let me make that clear. If it's in a constructive way, that's completely fine and it's by all means welcome. Um, so I guess I can give you some instances of when I felt like I was unpassing or had issues with passing. Um, now, this is when I first started transitioning. Um, I went to a store called Love Culture, and I vowed never to return again for this instance, and I actually avoid the mall that that store is in altogether. I completely avoid it. I don't like it. Um, it's very hard for me to go there. Um, and the reason is, is because when I was at this particular store in the mall, I was getting followed around by these teenagers, about four or five of them. And while I was being followed around, they were pointing, laughing, snickering, and making jokes about my appearance. Um, and I ended up leaving that store in tears and ended up having a panic attack. Um, I don't get them often, but usually my trigger for them is times when I feel like I'm not passing. Um, some water. And so... I, like I said, I'm very insecure about these instances. Another instance would be, um, that makes me want to punch somebody in their face is when you're ordering a drink at a restaurant and of course they ask for your ID. That's fine. My ID still says mail. And when they sit there and look at your ID for about five minutes, just looking at your ID and looking at you and back at your ID. It makes me go crazy. I can't stand it whatsoever. And I know that's not an instance of unpassing or not passing. Um, initially, but it is an instance where they figure you out and they read you after they've read your ID. My ID picture is not bad either. I actually like my ID picture. 
Um, so yeah, I, I mean, you know, and there's things, of course, about my body that I really don't like. I have pretty bad um, body dysmorphia where what I see and what you might see is completely conflicting. For instance, I would argue that my calves are way too muscular. My, um, my arms are way too muscular. My shoulders I'm not too concerned with. Um, and uh, I generally don't like the way that I look. Um, and so that all plays into me feeling like I'm not passing. Oh, of course, I can hide these things with um, clothes. And I do. Um, and then, of course, there's always the issue of voice. Now, I actually did. What I've been drinking here is my little secret, my trick. And, well, it's part of my trick. I get a lot of compliments on my voice. And the quality of it. Um... But I personally, I can, don't feel that it does so well. But I can give you guys what my little tri trick, tip, whatever you want to call it, is for improving your voice. I'm not going to promise you that this can make your voice pass. Now, in this little water bottle, Hello Kitty, I have a mixture of salt and water. And it doesn't taste all too good, but I promise you it does help. It clears out your lungs. It clears out your esophagus. It makes your voice a little more breathier and airier. And I'm having trouble right now because I'm trying to hold back a cough. But I have some more water. <laughs> I personally believe that it does help. It makes the quality of your voice a lot better. And it just improves. It makes it easier to reach higher ranges. My other trick is every morning and even throughout the day sometimes, um, I sing. I sing to vocals done by women. And to give you examples of the songs I use, I use um, Reflection from the Milan soundtrack. And I use Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman by Britney Spears. And that works out pretty well. Um, since I've been doing that, I've experienced quite a bit of difference. And my voice continues to improve, in my opinion. So, um, I guess that's my little trick, my little tip for improving your voice. Um, and yeah, so that's basically all I have to say about, um, not passing. Um, so as always, have a great day, have a great night, and may loving kindness follow you wherever you go.